I know you guys are here for the gray screen. The resolution change is not happening, possibly due to driver's conflict. So in today's video, we will cover the basic but crucial points to fix this issue. But if the problem persists even after applying these methods, please mention your PC specs in the comment section. So let's get started. So the step number one, uh, according to my setup, like I'm using Nvidia GPU and uh, using the built-in GPU, let's focus on a method that has a higher chances of fixing the screen resolution issue in Windows 10 or Windows 11. So the method uh, update graphic drivers for both GPU update nvidia graphic drivers first visit the uh, official nvidia website and download the latest drivers for your specific gpu model install them ensure you select the correct option for your hardware so for that let me open here a browser and then type here the nvidia gpu okay there's a lot of methods to upgrade your gpu nvidia amd gpu drivers the first one just go on the official website if you are using the geforce you can also update your graphic drivers using the geforce and that's actually a uh, easiest method if you are using the geforce but if you are using the nvidia then simply go on the official website and then driver sections and then once you go over there now you can see here's two options one if you don't know about your gpu model then you can go download this one it will automatically scan and find the exact driver for your system and later on you can just uninstall this automatically uh, automatic driver updates and the other option you can just simply select your gpu from here right now i'm using 1060 so it's a 1060 means 10 series and then here you need to select your gpu I'm using 1060 now operating system I'm using Windows 10 64 bit but if you are using 11 or 32 bit whatever you can just choose here the language and the download types now that's the main part if you are a gamer you can go with the game ready drivers it's optimized for game gaming purpose and the other one studio drivers it's optimized for studio work like Premiere Pro and After Effects etc and a lot of other tools so both will work but for better latency you can go with the game ready drivers in game and the for other hand studio drivers right now i'm going here with the game ready drivers and just click on search and in a few seconds you will get here the download button as you can see there's all the versions are available now here you can download the latest version the top one but in case if this version is not working for you you can go with the lower one mostly um, the latest versions work fine but in some cases the oldest gpu cannot handle sometimes the latest drivers so you can try the older as well okay that's the first method if you are using the uh, um, geforce you can also log in into this and there is a lot of other videos are available on my youtube channel you can also watch from there link is mentioned in the description now the second option update integrated graphic drivers now that's kind of difficult to upgrade the integrated graphic drivers because it's hard to find the exact drivers but i'll show you first open the device manager and then here you need to go into the display adapters right now you can see i'm using the intel rhd graphic with uh, 4600 just right click on it click on update okay now if you have any backup in your pc you can go with this it will automatically scan your pc and if there's any update available it will update it if it's not working then go here browse my computer for drivers sometimes recently updates if you do then you will see here the two or three drivers so you can choose one by one might be the other one will work better than the latest one or might be you are using the older and latest one will work better so this is how you can do here and uh, the last step you can also perform this section search automatic and then search for update drivers on windows once the windows update will pop up and after the scan checking for updates you will get here the additional option in which you can download some extra things like view optional updates and here you can see right now there's no update for me but if there is it will be pop up over here as you can see right now there's one adopter is available for android but we are not gonna download this because it's not our problem okay 
Now, I hope these methods has a uh, clarification in your mind. Let me show you one more thing. As you can see here, the basic and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1066 GP, which is the external GPU. If you upgrade it once again, the another pop-up will appear here. The latest version with date and day. So this is how actually you can do this. Now, now configure graphic settings in NVIDIA control panel. So what you can do here, just right click on your desktop, go into the NVIDIA control panel, navigate to manage 3D settings over here. Once you select this, now in the global setting, make sure you need to find here the set the preferred graphic processor to your NVIDIA GPU. Now we need to find here the preferred graphic settings. Prefer refresh it. Let's put also for better performance. Actually, it's not the uh, it's not that option. Open GL rendering. Just click on it. Like your default, the external GPU. Okay. After selecting here, now go into the program. And if you are facing this issue with specific application, you can just add that application over here. As you can see right now, the Valorant is added and it's totally optimized. But in case if you scroll down a bit, you will see here the Open GL rendering GPUs. So select here the GPU that you are using and that's it after doing this hit apply and one more thing you can see here the configure surrounded physics at sometimes it's working so you need to select here your external powerful GPU once you have done this go into the change resolution and make sure select here the resolution highest and refresh it highest once you've done this, hit apply. Okay. Adjust desktop size and positions. So click on no scale. And uh, overall, the everything is fine. Override the scaling mode set by games and programs. You can also check this option. Might be this will work for you. And also, yeah, that's it. Now hit apply. Now one more thing. Sometimes by disabling the GPU, the internal GPU it will fix your problem so what you can do here restart your computer and enter into the BIOS UEFI settings usually by pressing a key like F2, F12, Dell or ESC during startup look for an option related to the graphic settings or primary display adopters make sure it's set to your NVIDIA GPU so set your primary GPU the external GPU as your primary GPU um, the temporary method also you can apply before this uh, method if you want to test just simply go over there go into the display adapters and make sure to uninstall from here but what will happen if you uninstall the intel internal gpu it will uh, ask you to restart your pc and after the re first restart it will work fine but on the second restart your internal graphic drivers will reinstall automatically so i'm not preferring this but if you want to try just temporary then you can apply this method as well this will work all right again disabling integrated graphics you can also disable it from bios and then restart your pc now check screen resolution settings so check screen resolution settings just click on the windows icon then go into the settings now here you need to go into the system now display and try adjust the screen resolution you can just change your resolution from here right now after applying all these methods and one more thing make sure select here the recommended the hundred mostly the hundred is recommended so select here the recommended one and uh, your problem should be fixed and if uh, still your like quality is not good you can further go over here advanced display settings and then go into the display adapter properties for display display to right now actually i'm using two monitors so it's look like like display to display one so in case if you are using two gp uh, two display monitor then you can you will see this option you need to go into the exact one now here's a lot of other resolutions are available you can try to apply each one by one might be you will get the best result now how you can change the res resolution for other monitor again here's the both monitor so uh, rather you are going for display 2 or display 1 just choose from here and then you can go again 
and you will get all the resolutions so this is how actually it's work if you have any question just let me know remember to create a system restore point before making any major changes to your system if the issue persists you may also want to change for any specific capability issues between your gpu and windows 11 or windows 10 additionally consider seeking help from nvidia sport or amd that you are using our community form for further assistance so a lot of pupils are facing this issue and a lot a uh, lot of pupils has solved this problem by on so it's better to contact with them i hope this video really helpful for you if you have any question just let me know and don't forget to subscribe this youtube channel and as i said and if you are still um facing this problem just drop your specification pc specs in the comment section so i can guide you according to your setup i hope this video helpful for you bye